They call it the Eric Shepard Challenge. The challenge is to take a picture or video of yourself stepping on an American flag. Apparently this uh, is supposed to protest racism somehow, as if disrespecting the same flag that so many people have sacrificed their lives for and the altar of freedom is going to accomplish anything. It's not. One of the first people to gain national attention for doing this is called Erica Walker. She enjoys this challenge so much, she has done it three times now. Here's the first time. My name is Erica Walker, and I am about to do the Eric Shepard Challenge. Hands off EJ, f*** your flag. D. F*** your flag. America is upside down. No justice. This is the second, and also pay attention, there's a uh, random person that comes up to her and tells her to leave the country if she doesn't like it. Hands off EJ. Hands off EJ. F*** your flag. F*** your flag. Your flag is upside down on purpose because this country is upside down. We're not leaving the country. Leave the country? Leave the country? It's the country that we built was... Finally, the third time, which this is the most disrespectful thing I've ever seen done to a U.S. soldier on our soil. This is the third video that she... I believe this was done in Baltimore, because you can see the National Guard turning their backs on her when she does this. Disgraceful act. And then, you'll notice, when they all turn their back on her, someone in the crowd points out they did it, and she laughs about it, because she thinks it's funny. <laughs> Look behind you. It's an example <laughs> to all prosecutors around the United States of America. <laughs> we got him. You can see in this still photo that when told the soldiers were turning their backs on her, she responds with a huge smile. Yet these people keep saying they don't mean disrespect for the U.S. military. Well, then how do you explain this picture? A picture says a thousand words. This picture says disrespect. 1,000 times for the men and women that serve in our military. Now pay careful attention to this video clip. The media is trying to portray that this isn't disrespect to soldiers, and they also commend the veteran that disagreed with a Vietnam veteran for grabbing the flag from a protester. Pay careful attention to what the male student says at the end, as the media conveniently forgets to tell you the whole story. But don't worry, in a moment I'm going to. Refuse to take the move lightly. Lock up, y'all, lock up, y'all, lock up. This is your country. This is a white man's country. It was during this moment a veteran stole the flag student Tommy Damasio was standing on. The flag theft caused issues even amongst the veteran protesters. It was Vietnam. I got 58,000. Afghanistan veteran and Wright State student Nicole Bitter took a stand. Our issue is not to fight with them. Our purpose here today was just to show that we support our flag and we don't agree with what's being done. Eventually, school officials gave the protesters another flag, which they ultimately gave to the veterans so they could be burned properly. Thank you for your service to this country. This is not meant to individually disrespect men and women of service for the sacrifices they've made for this country. Tom Damasino says he doesn't intend disrespect towards U.S. soldiers. And ABC seems to favor the vets that disagree with people taking flags from people who are desecrating them. Wright State University also gave Tom Damasino a flag so that he could tell a veteran to his face that he's going to burn it. Is that how you show respect for U.S. vets? What exactly are they teaching at this college? Why does ABC selectively forget to play this very important clip right here? Guys like me, these young folks right here, <laughs> dude, if you know my heritage, I guarantee you, we'll set you straight. Okay. I'm right here. Okay. Listen up. Well, I can't. Oh, we're attracting them. That's one. Tell you what, you're going to take you. Don't you ever disrespect my flag, you will understand. I might go burn one tomorrow. As you just heard, Tom was very disrespectful to a vet that was trying to politely talk to him. And then he even told him he was going to burn the flag right to his face. It's interesting how ABC forgets to play this while conveying the message that the movement means no disrespect to the U.S. military. It is also worth noting that Wright State University gave this person the flag, which he later tells a vet he's going to burn. If I were a parent, I would take this into consideration before sending my child to Wright State University in Dayton, Ohio, but that's just me.